Hello, creative friends. Today, I'm happy to present you my brand new collection of products that is already available at Craftstash. The name of this release is Elegant Bathroom, and as you have probably guessed, it's meant for scene building and it enables you to create your own gorgeous bathroom. Now, let's have a quick look at the products and then I'll be showing you how you can create a card with them. There are three large die sets included in the release and they are called Accessories Die Set, Vanity Die Set and Fittings Die Set. In these die sets you will find everything you need to build a scene, starting from the larger pieces like furniture and accessories and ending up with the tiny ones like hair brushes, perfume bottles, slippers and the like. All the dies are the same scale, so you can easily combine uh, the pieces from uh, different die sets. They also work with my previous furniture die sets. The next product in the collection is a patterned paper pad. This one is A5 size, that is roughly 4 by 6 inches. The papers from the pad are great for using as the background for the bathroom. There is uh, marble texture as well as wallpaper tiles as well as the entire bathroom. Each pattern has two versions, the landscape and the portrait-oriented one, so you can choose the one that fits your card the best. All papers are quite thick and they are even suitable to create card bases. There is also one more product in the collection that you can use to create a background and that is the embossing folder with the tiled walls and the floor. This one is 5.5 by 8 inches. Once you have the background embossed, all you have to do is to add some die cuts to finish off the scene. There is one more embossing folder included in the collection and this one is full of sentiments that are all about relaxing and having time for yourself. You can use this folder as a background or you can use the sentiments separately. There is also a stamp set with a lot of sentiments plus it has some nice images like tiles, perfume bottles and foam bubbles. Here are the first three cards that I have created using this collection. They are all bathroom scenes and I will be showing each of them in my future videos. In this one, we are going to create this card with a mirror. Using this collection is super simple. You just have to create the background first and then you simply fill in the room with whatever elements you like. So here I'm choosing the background. I have decided to use um, the pattern that has both the walls and the floor and uh, it's um, portrait oriented. I'll be cutting it down to size using a 5 by 7 die. You can also use your paper trimmer. I have created a card base out of uh, white cardstock and this one is slightly larger than my pattern paper. It measures uh, 5 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter inches. I'm sticking down my background and uh, this way I will have a thin border all around the perimeter. Once the background is ready, I just have to add the scene elements. So I'll be combining the dies from all the three die sets. And please note that uh, the actual dies are much larger than the picture shows. And this is my favorite way of working with a scene builder dies. I like to simply put them all on a tray and uh, this way they are very easy to combine. You can just play around and see how different elements work together. This way you can try a lot of different combinations in a very short time and quite often you even find something that you didn't think of. This time I decided to go with a large floor mirror and the bathroom shelves. 
I've die cut each element three times out of white cardstock, and then I'm going to layer all those die cuts to create more dimension. I'm simply applying some liquid glue onto the die cut and sticking down the next one on top of it. Then I'm going to stick down both the mirror and the shelves right onto the patterned paper background. As always, if you are interested in the products that I'm using, you can find the link to the online store down below in the description below this video. To create the actual mirror, I'm going to use some holographic cardstock. So I've die cut it using the same die, and now I'm going to stick it down right inside the frame. So now when I have the largest elements in place, those are normally the furniture pieces, I, I can add some smaller details that are going to make my scene more interesting and lifelike. Here I've die cut some smaller pieces like jugs and bottles out of silver mirror cardstock and I'm simply playing around with them deciding where I want to place them on the shelves. That process is very similar to decorating the real bathroom shelves. So once I'm happy with the placement of the elements, I start sticking them down one by one. I'm also going to use a hanging sign with the debossed word relax. To add even more coziness to the bathroom, I'm going to use a couple of potted plants that are also the part of the die sets. I've die cut them out of white cardstock as well as the green patterned paper. Now I'm going to stick down the patterned paper piece onto the white base just to give it some thickness. Then I'm going to use the remaining white die cut and I'm trimming off uh, the flower pot as well as some uh, white orchids and I'm going to stick them down onto the green base. So as you see, I decided to go with the paper piece in this time, but you can entirely choose the coloring or just die cut the flower outline. I have created uh, the other flower exactly the same way, and then I'm going to attach both flowers onto the foreground of my scene. So as you can see, you are not meant to use all the die cuts from the set on one project unless it's really huge. Just a few elements are enough to build up a scene, but you can create innumerable combinations with them. Although I already have a relax sign on my project, I have decided to add one more sentiment. So I'm going to stamp the word unwind with the gray ink at the bottom of my card. And this is it, guys. This is how easy it is to build up the bathroom scenes with this collection. Just start with the background, then play around with the dyes, mixing and matching them, and the ideas will come. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you found some ideas useful. What else can I say? All the products are available separately, but if you decide to purchase the entire collection, you'll get a nice discount. The link is down below is in the description as always. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day!